Greetings everyone and welcome to question number 22 of US examination geometry section. In this question we are dealing with circles. So we have we have chord which is equal to 60 degrees. So a chord AFB is equal to 60 degrees. We have angle CAD which is equal to 90 degrees. So this is a right angle. We have a side EC which is equal to 12 and we have uh, sides AC which is equal to BD so AC is equal to BD and we are as the value of side AD now what do we do here the first thing that we have to uh, we have to remember is that if this chord is equal to 60 degrees it means the interior angle is equal to uh, half of half of it which in this case it will be 30 degrees so this is a rule that we know and we apply it immediately now we have 90 degree 30 degrees so this angle we know for sure it's going to be 60 degrees now i'm going to name a e as x so if uh, if the side in front of the uh, in front of the 30 degree angle is x since we are dealing with a special triangle where the side where angles are 90 60 and 30 i know that the side in front of in front of the angle uh, of the angle of 90 degrees it will be double this side so in this case it will be 2x and what is another thing we know the uh, the side in front of the angle of 60 degrees it will be x square root of 3 so these are the rules that we know and we just apply uh, we just apply them immediately now over here in this place i will draw a perpendicular line to side BE creating a 90 degree a 90 degree angle so I have a small angle over here now if this is a right triangle uh, I have a small triangle over here so pardon me I have a small triangle uh, which is 90 degrees is a right triangle now if this angle is 60 degrees this angle will also be equal to 60 degrees now if that is 60 degrees and we have a 90 degree it means that this angle will be equal to 30 degrees now if the side in front of the 90 degree angle is 12 we know that the side in front of the 30 degree angle it will be uh, it will be half of this side which in this case is going to be 6 now we have every information that we need to find x why because we will refer to ac which is equal to bd now what is ac ac is x plus 12 so ac is equal to uh, x plus 12 and what is BD we have 6 plus 2x so BD is equal to 6 plus uh, 2x and all we have to do now just equalize them so we have x plus 12 which is equal to 6 plus 2x so we have x which is equal to 6 so now that we know the value of x which is equal to, uh, to 6 now we will be able to find the side the value of the side AD so AD is equal to 6 square root of 3 and this is the right answer for this question greetings everyone and welcome to question number 23 in this uh, question as you can see we are dealing with uh, circles again but in this case we don't have the whole circle we have only half of it and we are told that chord AB is equal to chord BC which is equal to chord CD and we are given AO is equal to OD which is equal to 2 centimeters so we can see that this these two sides are two centimeters and we are as the area of triangle ABC now when we are told that we have chord AB which is equal to chord BC and called a uh, chord DC what do we know since we are dealing with only half of the triangle uh, half of the circle we know that half of the circle it has 180 degrees why because we know that the whole circles the, uh, uh, the angles of a circle are equal to 360 degrees now since this, since this chord is equal to 180 degrees and these chords specific chords are equal to each other it means that chord AB will be equal to 60 BC will be equal to 60 and CD will be equal to 60 why because if we add them up they will give us the uh, uh, 180 which is the half of the circle now that we know this, uh, what is the second, uh, the second thing that we have to know is that the interior angle of a triangle, in this case interior angle of a circle, is half of the chord that it faces. So if this chord is 60 degrees, so these are all degrees, if this, uh, if this chord is 60 degrees, the interior angle of this circle will be equal to 30 degrees. Now is, if, we see, uh, if we see chord AB, in front of it we have angle C 
So we have to apply the same rule over here, which means that we have an angle of 30 degrees as well. Now, what can we do here? Since we have 30 degrees and 30 degrees, uh, it's equal to uh, uh, 60 degrees. We know the interior angles of a triangle are equal to 180. It means that this angle is equal to 120 degrees. Now, what can I do here so I can get to every information that I need to find the area of this triangle is I will draw another side over here, which will be perpendicular to AC. So this will be a 90 degree angle. As you can see, we have another right triangle. Now, is, what, what do we see here? We see that this interior angle, this specific interior angle, it means angle CAD, it faces chord DC, which is equal to 60 degrees. What does that mean? It means that this angle, the interior angle of this circle will be equal to 30 degrees as well. Now, if this is 30 degrees, this is 90 degrees, we know that this will be equal to 60 degrees. Now, what do we know here? Uh, if the side in front of the angle of 90, 90 degree angle is equal to 4, it means that the side in front of the angle 60, it will be equal to 2 square root of 3. This is a special rule that applies to special triangles. Since we are dealing with special triangles, we know the value of this side now. What can we do here? As you can see, on the first triangle, we are dealing with an isosceles triangle. Why? Because two angles are equal, it means that two sides are equal. So if I draw a perpendicular line to the base AC, I will split this triangle into two equal triangles. Why? Because here we will have 90 degrees on both sides, and this will become 60 degrees, and this will become 60 degrees. And this side will become square root of 3, and this side will become square root of 3 as well. Now, what do we see here? We see that if the side in front of the angle of 60 degrees is equal to square root of 3, we know that this side, the side in front of the angle uh, uh, 30 of 30 degrees, will be equal to 1. Now we have every information that we need. Why? Because we have the height, we have the base, and that's what basically we need to find the area of the triangle. So area of a triangle ABC is equal to 1 over 2 times base times height. And we see that we have 1 over 2 times what is base? Base is 2 square root of 3. So 2 square root of 3. And what is height? We just found height, which is equal to 1. Now, 2's cancel each other. The area of triangle ABC is equal to square root of 3 times 1. It's square root of 3. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to question number 24. In this question, the question, as you can see, we are dealing with two circles and a rectangle. And we are, all, we are as the area of this part. So how can we find the area of this part? As you see, we have a rectangle and two circles, so we have to uh, take the whole rectangle and we have to subtract this part of the circle and this part of the circle, and by doing so, we will be able to find this area. So let's write that down first. So uh, area of, so we have area of A, B, A, B, O1, O2 minus we have the addition of two, of these two sides, so in this point I'm going to name it as C, for uh, so we can easy, easy orient ourselves. So we have A, area of A, O1, C, plus the area of B, O2, and C. So now that we know how we can find the area, let's find the area of this triangle, of this rectangle. So if this is the radius, so this will be the radius as well. So if this is equal to 2, this will be equal to 2. The same goes here. If this is the radius and it equals 2, it means that this side will be equal to 2 as well. Now, what is the, how can we find the area of a rectangle? It's going to be the height times the, times the length, which in this case is going to be 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. So we have 8 minus. Now let's find the area of only this portion of the circle. Now, what is the formula for the area? It is PR squared. But since we are dealing with only one-fourth of, uh, of the circle, we know that it's going to be, and this is 90 degrees, we know that the whole circle has uh, 360 degrees, and we are dealing with only uh, 90, uh, the 90th degree of it, so only with a, with a quarter of the circle. We know it's going to be 90 over 360 times PR squared. P what is R in this case is 2, 2 squared is 4, 
plus the same goes for this circle as well because as you can see they have the same equal values so it's 90 over 360 times p times 4 please don't forget to take this part to consider uh, to consider uh, and be uh, pay attention to this part because the only reason we did 90 over 360 is because we are dealing only with a quarter of the circle now let's do the calculations we have 8 minus we can uh, divide this uh, the, we can simplify these two uh, numerator and denominator by 90 we will get 1 over 4 times p times 4 we can do the same here so we have 1 over 4 times p times 4 so here we have 8 minus 4 is simplified with 4 4 is simplified with 4 because we have multiplication here so we are left 1 times p is p 1 times p is p so we have 2 p and the right answer for this question is 8 minus 2p.